Sunken Landers. Welcome back, it's Matty G. Um, we're here for a little special one. It's uh, very short, keep it short and sweet if we can. Um, this is the Happy Halloween update, really. The, um, they've added a few new bits and bobs uh, to Sunken Land. I don't know if they're going to be a limited time. I'm going to quickly have a look through them, and I'm going to take you over to where you can get them. So, what do we have? They're all decorations, pretty much, bar one, which we will explain in a little while. First you have the neon signs, so you've got a pumpkin one, a little white ghost, the bats, which I think are pretty cool. Um, then you've got a, a nice illuminated boo, followed by a happy Halloween. Honestly, I thought the happy Halloween would have been neon as well, but unfortunately it seems to be just sort of like a, a balloon looking blood bath. So yeah, there you go. Uh, moving on to some other decorations, we have a scarecrow. Flaps around in the wind, the hat moves, everything else. Actually, you can see multiple uses for one of these. You can stick them up in a towel, make it look like someone's standing there. Freak yourself out when you come back towards your own outpost. Um, then you've got a cat. Again, secondary or secondary use. You can um, act like it's a pet, although it's kind of very creepy as the light starts to fade. Um, then we've got an absolute host of pumpkins. However, there are only two that light up. That I can, I mean, there's no trigger to turn them on or anything like that. So there's only two that light up. Again, for Halloween purposes, great. Um, for a light source, eh, they are what they are. I think they're pretty cool, though, so it's a nice little addition. Uh, we've also got a skeleton duck. Kind of goes with a big yellow rubber ducky, so, I mean, that, that's quite, kind of a nice touch. Um, we've got the Grim, Grim Reaper. Now it's starting to get darker. Um, we should get a torch. There we go. Put a bit of a fire down just so we can see. So there you go. There's the Grim Reaper. It looks pretty cool actually. With the sickle on there as well. Again, you could possibly use that as a secondary source inside of a tower maybe. Um, and then we move over to this side where we have open coffin. So if you're playing with friends uh, and one of your friends decides he's no longer going to play, Maybe you film, maybe you're just a role player and you're role playing with others. You can use this as a secondary graveyard. Just place one of these down up against a wall or a crypt maybe in the bottom of these caving area that you have uh, on the starter area. You could shove them in there. I believe you can place them on the deck as well. You don't necessarily have to have them on a on the, um, platform. So yeah, um, then we've got the ghost. It kind of bobs back and forth. Um, funky looking. I would say uh, it looks like lots of different other things. <laughs> uh, giant spider, not my favourite. Not a spider fan. But yeah, a giant creepy crawly. Ooh, do what you will with that. Then you've got the skeleton pumpkin man. Who I think looks fantastic. This one you could quite easily pop up in a tower. Um, especially if one that you're not illuminating maybe the one that you don't even use and it just looks like someone waving out of it which is pretty cool I find that quite funny um, right so what I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to jump on the old jet ski and we're going to head over to the trader which is just there and we will show you that here we go we're at the trader um, as you can see, they have decorated a little bit of the trade. If you come around the side here, you'll see the, they popped a ghost up there. Um, I haven't been around the whole thing, but there may be more decorations or not. So all the decorations are going to be confined to inside here. So you've got a few decorations lying around. Skeletons. Skeletons inside the uh, uh, coffin there. A cauldron. Hanging skeleton. Uh, there's the Scarecrow, Happy Halloween. So, yeah, I mean, they've got lots of little decorations. Not as much as what's... Um, you've got less less for sale than you have actual decorations. And as you can see, the trader hasn't got anything. So you have to go to this lady here, the witch. Which, um, it's nice that they've modelled them slightly differently. I think that's the same place, is it? Everywhere they've, they've modelled them slightly differently. Uh, however, as you can see, they are limited to what they have. 
that all these different items we've already seen uh, this is the one that we was going to talk about in a minute it's uh, a pumpkin head that's an armor piece instead of a helmet but we'll get up to that in a minute now what what can you actually physically purchase how much are these sort of things going to cost now everything you see is the same in value i've done uh, lots of different tests with them so i'm literally going to get a pumpkin man as you can see if i use a ring which is obviously they're worth quite a bit i'm going to put them down here 150 value great stuff use the coins it's not going to be the same it was just obviously now i did have other items that i was using i'm left with just this since i last purchased them so all i'm going to do is i'm going to increase that no deal on 150 so knowing that each individual item is more than 75 you had the coins which are a 10 item a piece eventually get just short of there you go just short of 200 because what you actually need is two it's a hundred per item so each one of these is value wise is about a hundred that in mind so you know if you want to get a few of these you can get two rings down that gives you 300 in value and you can get three pumpkins although for some reason when you do this you do need to just top it up an extra over the edge to get the deal done all right so the last thing that we haven't shown you so far is pumpkin head so you purchase the pumpkin head, you can stick it over here, it gives you two armor. Obviously not the great. Um, look wise, yeah. I mean if you've had more outfits, more sort of armor, skeleton looking armor you could have worn or anything maybe, but just a head on its own. And considering it costs you quite a bit and my base is actually under attack. Um, I mean I know I only use this one now on occasions, but yeah, so that is the armament. may have appeared to have found a small glitch. Um, apparently I'm under attack, or I was under attack. But uh, I, I've, I've come back here. It kept flashing up that I was under attack. I've been around the entire island twice now. And... Um, there's no one here at all we go we're back. my base is under attack again as you can see we've run around the entire length of the island around to the docks area and there is no one here nothing So yeah, my base is under attack, but there is no one here actually attacking. Oh, there's a turn up for the books. <laughs> now I get to show you the Halloween and a glitch. Um, so even with that glitch persisting, um, that's been the Halloween update. And as you can see, I've now placed two people up in the window. Uh, just make it look pretty cool. You can actually add them elsewhere to make them look they're useful characters <laughs> I think that looks pretty nifty but yeah I mean have fun with it it is for Halloween I'm hoping they do a similar thing for Christmas so it'd be nice to decorate uh, a nice Christmas themed home uh, and until next time don't forget to like subscribe and share keep an eye out for the sunken land series and check us out with all our other content till then this has been Matty G Peace out.